there, and how's it going? Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are doing Brotherhood, Final Fantasy XV, Episode 5. This is the final episode in the five-episode mini-series that got released to promote the Final Fantasy XV game. It kind of, what it does is bring all the characters together that were in that little group that we've seen right around the car with boys. The uh, the boy band, the Noctus and his pals, super group, it's Gladios, not Gladios, Gladiolus, um, Ignis, Prompto and Noctus. Now, really, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you're going to get no context for what's happening here. Uh, this goes all the way back to the first episode of the miniseries, uh, where the characters were all about to get in, to get attacked by a naga, a giant uh, snake demon. And it has a lot of importance to Noctis, because it was actually the creature who killed his mother and nearly killed him, which was uh, explored within the Platinum demo that was released a long time ago. So... We've got um, a, a key moment of them coming together in this final episode. I want to know uh, what we kind of like can glean from it and what I can discuss from the uh, ideas of the characters. Because what we've already seen is that the four of them all kind of, in my opinion, kind of represent like a, a series of parts of a body, really, in their own way. Uh, Gladiolus is the strong arms. Prompto is the heart of the characters. Um, Noctis is, of course, the the body that this all possesses in. And Ignis is the thoughtful mind that kind of organizes and makes sure this all works for them. So, let's see how these guys all work together to take down this single creature and probably give um, Noctis a little bit of the redemption. How how have their interactions of what they've done with him, how he connects to them, made him the better man and make him worthy, I suppose, to be the king that he is destined to be. So of course this is actually like the tail end of the first episode replayed back out as they introduced this character, this creature. Which was also introduced in the beginning of the first episode as the thing that attacked both Noctis and his mother. Bring it on! So yeah, he's just gonna dive right into battle this thing. He's gonna be knocked out. But yeah, you have to think about it, like a six-armed snake demon is probably going to kick your ass in the majority of cases, I imagine. Like the, the scope and scale of the creatures and monsters in this game are awesome. I'm really, really glad that they're actually going big rather than going home. Like the, not all of these should be human-sized monsters, they are monstrosities. Um, but from the clips I've seen of like Adamantoy's fights and fighting Titan, which is literally, a, he looks bigger than the Titans from like Attack on Titan. Ooh, that's good blocking. That's a lot of swords blocking a single boot. Naga, you steal whip. It's super effective. Oh shit, yeah, no, she is. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck your opinion, I am going to destroy this thing. So we get the flashback to the actual night of the event. Uh, see, we get so little of Noctis' mother except for this. Nobody cares for herself. Damn! So they've taken out their front car. I mean, typical kind of like terrorist tactics that he attack a uh, royalty or governmental employee or whatever. Take out the lead car, take out the pass back car. Then you're all done. I learned it from Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. Court, by the way. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Why are they not carrying hand cannons? Just swords. Which is obvious that it's not really a random monster because it is looking for somebody as well. Oh! Here, cut her in half. Oh man. 
See, I can imagine why this might have fucked knocked us up as well. I mean, he already was really being raised royally, but this is a bit intense. Yeah, I don't think that Nago at any point was actually like not going to kill him. I think it was just taking at the moment to save her the kill, which is eh, probably a bit more frightening. Boom! And leave it to him. You get to see the power of the king. I said you want to see his limit break, really. Sword after sword just flying. Is this kind of like a modern version of a thousand eagles? Omni Slash might even have them raise their hands. And what happened if he actually raised her hands? It's crazy. See, the thing is, I can see him physical strain whenever he's actually just doing this. Boom! That's the scar that we saw that uh, identifies this as the same as the Naga that's actually attacked. Not that it like, looks similar, it is the same one. I can imagine that you actually thinking that that was going to kill it either, though. I don't yeah, I can appreciate him being Captain Comic for a while. But yeah, I mean, the trauma of this is actually what the point of uh, Platinum Demo was. It's like, fade out from that, and you wake up in the Platinum Demo. Ow. See, of course, the whole point is that actually them focusing on around him, but it's, I mean, that was still a bit of a beating he took, like. Is this where you give up? Is this your limit? More. Oh. Tried. <laughs> and your father's telling you to get the fuck up! Okay, we're gonna see song cool. Oh, it's a cool thing resonating out of this. No. Massive deal. It's just the scale, the scale, uh, scale, the scale of the creatures that you're uh, going to be seeing in this game. I'm looking at so looking forward to seeing it. Like I, I want fights with parts of them. It's already fighting. Damn. Ah, along with the warp and it. Nice. Cross you have scar. <laughs> Perfectly valid excuse. What for the Okay. Whoa. It's actually like that floppy head thing. It's actually kind of weird. It's actually like a cute little thing. Boom! Damn! It wasn't even like the even arms were cut off. And you're not in this alone. Yeah, exactly. You got your brotherhood, man. This plan's got your back. I'm going to par level prompt to make him into a badass. Yeah! Yeah, all of them are gone. Boom! Yeah, at this point now, you're pretty much... That's <laughs> nice, guys. I actually like that. So, these team-up moves, this kind of like double combat, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Take its head. So yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. Um, these kind of like uh, round, like 
roundabout can like grab each other and swing them into contact. Kind of like the, the coolest part of Advent Children, like the very end of it, whenever you just had launching cloud up higher and higher. That's the thing, this is actually really getting into the idea of like an anti-gravity combat. I'm like, liking it. Anti-gravity combat with real weight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's goddamn dead. Took its head off. Give him a moment. Mother. You forgot your revenge. Uh. Carbuncle. The wee fire symbol sitting next to him. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, part of the platinum devil. Nocto. It's so weird if the carbuncle was actually like essentially um, a way from like to talk to his subconscious directly. <laughs> He's grown man, but wait, God, you miss your mother, you can miss your father, and you can feel like you're ready, but it can hit you like a wall. Unlike the wall that's protecting the city. At least we didn't leave it on a sad one, because that would be actually quite depressing to finish it off on. But it's on the open road. Back on the open road, road trip, 2016. Ah, <laughs> once they would crush the empire, you know? Yeah, they <laughs> Four of us, they're really outnumbered. Yeah, exactly, he's not conscripted into this. That's reason enough to actually take down an empire. You took my shit. <laughs> that was a very valid enough reason. He's been holding on to that letter for a while. I mean, literally, you cannot wrap it around his penis any further. I mean, it's completely destroyed the letter. Yeah. That's what I mean. Essentially, he, he, can you imagine the. I think the reason why he sleeps so much is just the comfort of knowing these guys got my back. They're around me. I can rest easy knowing they're there. That's what that is. Like, that's a tight knit unit. And I'm looking forward to actually seeing how these guys kind of interact and continue on. And I'm obviously, obviously, they're going to threaten to kill one of the cast at some point in the game. I'm not stupid. They're probably going to be prompto. They're probably going to, like, imply that prompto was killed. Probably not kill him, but have him leave the party for a short period of time because of it. And I'm curious to know if they're actually going to bother with uh, doing any more party members outside of the main four. I imagine they may actually do temporary kind of party inclusions or have like uh, summonable monsters that actually then fight instead of one of your party players. But I don't think they're actually going to do the uh, extended kind of like, party management system that they've done in previous games. Because uh, keep it, I think they probably got burned a little bit by the 13 game where you kept having to leave and then play with a different set of characters and reset them up every single time. But yeah, that was the final episode of Brotherhood on um, Final Fantasy XV. That was actually really enjoyable to sit and watch through all those episodes with you guys and just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions and little ideas that are popping up in my head whenever I look at this game series. Final Fantasy XV is, of course, going to be available on the 29th of November. We've got not too long to wait left, and I'm really excited to be... Uh, looking forward to very excited and looking forward to seeing exactly what it's got to give us story wise because mechanics seem to be so much tighter now that we've actually had a look through the um, judgment disc demo so yeah guys this is um I was, I was trying to actually bring up final fantasy on the screen there but of course they don't have it and then my things being a bit of an ass butt as well so yeah of course you can go and pre-order it on the playstation store since i have this up on the screen now <laughs> not much i can do to stop it because the battery just stopped charging um there's a bunch of DLC and Season Pass content to go with it. I personally would say don't bother with it. Just wait until the stuff starts coming out and pick up a Season Pass then or pick up the bits and pieces that you want. It seems to be that they're planning to actually do extended single-player content then leading to a multiplayer content at the end um, of four Season Passes. So be smart. Don't spend a massive amount of money. Don't. Uh, I'm only pre-ordering because I 
don't I, I mean I'm not trying to encourage them purchasing I haven't paid for mines yet I've pre-ordered in the way that you used to be able to pre-order on the PlayStation Store where you didn't have to outlay money immediately so my order has been in for a while um, the, so I won't be paying for it until the day it actually comes out but anybody else who's in the situation like I'd probably not pre-order but pick up the most basic standard edition copy you can get your hands on there's no point chasing down this digital deluxe bullshit uh, it, majority of the times every single other time you're not massively disappointed but you're just kind of like satiated by what you spent the money on games do not need to cost that much unless they actually are if they're going to do this chopping and changing and removing bits if all the bits that were actually meant to be in there were in there in the first place then that would be a full budget title um, that was my mini rant for DLC out of the way but um, yeah Final Fantasy 15 has got me gripped. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I want to play it as soon as possible. And um, the, the the Brotherhood series, I feel like, kind of brought me it brought me like a, a little bit of solace in how the characters were interacting, how I thought they were going to be with each other, and the each one of them has a really important part to play in Noctis's life, which then is going to, of course, kind of reflect on his personality traits and those kind of things. So I'm glad that they actually spent the time kind of airing them out and kind of getting the detail of the characters down so I know exactly who they are going in. I just hope that this isn't uh, to supplement the fact that they haven't done that within the game, but we shall see. We shall see. I hope to actually be enjoying little cute little moments of characters that I expect um, like watching Ignis bake randomly whenever we stay in, a, uh, in an apartment rather than actually staying in a hotel or anything because he gets access to the play of his ingredients. Or Gladius, uh, Gladiolus actually sitting training in the backyard of a location or whenever we stand at the side of the camp just swinging his weapon a couple of times and encouraging me to sit down with him and train so that I actually learn a new skill. Or Prompto just shooting the shit and uh, talking about puppies and taking photographs and those kind of things all the way throughout the game. I'm looking forward to seeing those character moments because they've been articulated to me clearly in this. Uh, for a lot of people, I think that's actually annoyed them about the design of the characters, but um, I'm willing to give that aside until as long as I can get to enjoy the story and the mechanics are alongside it. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my kind of a quick kind of commentary over these uh, episodes, you can of course watch the rest of them or see anything else that I actually provide here on the channel by clicking on the link up here where it says subscribe. You can hit that little button. It'll actually allow you to jump in and uh, see everything as they come out. And then over here on this side, you can actually see previous shows that I've actually done, uh, previous episodes and previous playlists. So you can actually sign up or just grab on one of those to watch any of those if you feel like it. So until the next time, this is me signing off and I say thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>